All right, so this is more of a general tip uh, for big cubes, uh, for the centers of big cubes, I mean. Um, so what I'm going to say is be flexible with how you solve the centers. So make sure uh, to adapt to the, uh, certain situations and solve the centers in the most efficient way possible. So what I mean by that is uh, there's many different ways to solve the centers. You can solve them in you know one by four lines, or you can solve maybe an inner inner block, then build the outer blocks from that. But just take advantage of whatever is made for you. So I mean, in this case, we'll solve the yellow center, and we have a two move, one by one by one, one by four block. So what we would probably do from there is build the rest of the one by four blocks. So pair these two up, that one, and there. And the last one. And then maybe for the white, we might go something different. So let's try and build, um, we'll build the inner two one by four blocks, but we'll do them in a certain way. So like this. So what I'm going to do is pair these two up to give ourselves a two by two block here. And then these two to build that, to build that. And then uh, just push this out of the way and we've got our two one by four blocks and then we can just finish them off like this All right, so this is another case where we have uh, our two inner centers um, They're both they're both in line. So what we just do is do a two two moves and pair them up and then what we can do is build maybe a one by four block there because that was pretty easy and then Another, uh, another edge there, and we've got this T case here. So what we can do for that is build another little edge section and then insert it, and then just do the last uh, one by four as a, as a line. Like that. All right, so this case is a slightly less common case where we have sort of two by two block in the corner of our center. And uh, you can easily take advantage of this, you know, uh, using these pieces up here, add those two pieces to it, and then add those two. And we've got our two 1x4 blocks. That was a slightly easier case. But uh, like I said, yeah, you can just be very, very flexible. And then from there, you would uh, build the rest with 1x4 bars. So the main thing that I'm trying to emphasize is just to be able to solve centers, whether it be on a 6x6, 5x5, or 7x7, or even a 4x4, but just be able to solve them in a variety of ways. So if you can, if you can only solve it with, you know, doing one by four blocks, um, then maybe you know try and practice it doing, you know, the inner centers and then expanding on that, and then maybe doing a one by four block. So I hope you enjoyed. So the main thing that I'm trying to emphasize, the main thing that, so the main thing that I'm trying to emphasize is just to, uh, just to see what.